Welcome to our YouTube channel Junaid Naveed and today is the fifth video of module 1 Jade user interface and today's topic is data cursors and editing tools so let's begin today is the fifth lecture of module 1 Jade user interface and today we are discussing edit and cursor toolbar edit and cursor toolbar will be look like this in the main jet window and the first button this button is basically cursor of or zoom button and if you click again on this top it will pop up the window like this and you can adjust different docking options from this window the second button is basically magnifying cursor the third one is peak edit cursor paint cursor background edit cursor data edit cursor profile fit cursor k alpha 2 cursor cursor brevis lattice this is for drag pattern overlay cursor and track PDF overlay cursor this is the uh, uh, long chair uh, long cross chair on off button so what are the function of these buttons the first is the default state the second option is basically activated only if there are more than 500 data points in the zoom window and uh, with this button you can insert move and erase peak markers in the zoom window with this button you can estimate peak width by moving the mouse or paint and integrate one or more peaks by dragging along the baseline with this button you can insert move and erase the tie points that control the shape of fitted background curve with this button you can edit the raw data of pattern graphically and remember that jet will not save the altered data pattern to the main file you can insert and edit initial profile or remove them graphically with the help of this button and with this button you will be able to see the k alpha 2 and k beta lines on the active and of the active anode and with this uh, button you can move any of the overlaid scat scan pattern up or down and with this button you can shift and scale pdf overlay by dragging any of its color di lines so let's explore these options in the main jet software as you can see one of the pattern is open in my uh, jet window and the first button is basically the default state and if I click again you can see this can this will open this talking options and the second button is the zoom window as you can see we can see any portion in the smaller zoom window and we can uh, hold the control key and right click it will change its width you can see it's it it is changing its width and if i right click it will again increase the size of the width and if i hold the shift button and do the uh, left click it will change the height of this uh, zoom window and if i right click it will increase the height of the selected zoom window i hope you understand the other is peak editing cursor with this thing uh, sorry let me magnify first you can see i magnified this peak and i selected this option and i want to mark a peak on this point you can see this dotted line is appearing here and you can uh, see different values from here if I bring my crosshair on this 
edify hold this control key and move it i can move it to any point and if i right click on this thing it will disappear let's see you see it is removed now so the next button is basically paint cursor uh, sorry let me zoom again first you can see i magnified this portion and you know how to magnify this if you don't know how to magnify magnify and demagnify uh, by making this blue color rubber band you can refer to my previous videos and i have explained this toolbar in my previous video you can find the link in the description and also uh, it is popping up in the video you can find this video from there and i have also explained different other toolbars in my different videos so you can watch those videos and uh, you may understand better what are happening here so we were talking about this tool you see i selected from this point to this point so it painted my peak and from this painted area it gives us some information like centroid d left angle right angle mean left counts right counts area peak height and the fwhm width of this peak so you can get many informations from this and if i right click and erase all it will erase all my previous work this is the background editing tool uh, there are other ways to do but you can also make the baseline by placing different lines you can see and change it if you click left on the baseline it will add another point and if you click right it will remove that point so by adding or removing the point to this yellow color baseline you can edit your background line so that you can fit your data more accurately let me remove this so the other is data editing cursor now you can change the data points let me zoom first you can see this is our zoomed area and if i choose this it is changing my peaks you understand what is what are this option is doing so this is not recommended because uh, it will change your original data which is not good and uh, one good thing is that the jet will not save this data to your original file so i will not recommend this work uh, for uh, for unprofessional purposes this is the k alpha and beta lines you can uh, see the k alpha and k beta lines uh, of the active anode like in my case this is copper in the main pattern i hope you understand the function of this button this is the previous lattice cursor and we will discuss this cursor in more details uh, when we we'll, we discuss uh, this topic particularly particularly in upcoming lectures uh, let me first overlay a pdf for example uh, this pdf is overlaid uh, so there is no other pattern overlaid to my this pattern so i cannot use this uh, scan overlay button however i can use this button and change the intensity of this overlaid pdf 
in my zoom window and you can see I can increase or decrease this overlaid intensity uh, which are obtained from the PDF file and through this I can see more clearly my peak points of my pattern and where it is hitting to my main pattern. I hope you understand the function of this button. The last option is long chair. It shows the different values and you know x axis and y axis. So you it is easy for you to locate the two theta value and different values uh, in the main pattern and you can uh, see where it is lying and then uh, make different calculations according to your research. I hope you understand the function of all these buttons. Uh, at the end, I will. I would like to give you some tips. Uh, you can bring up the relevant dialog window by right clicking the cursor button on the toolbar. The second tip is you can hide the yellow tip label in the zoom window by holding down the control key while clicking the cursor button. I hope you enjoyed this video. This lecture concludes here. Please like this video and appreciate my effort and share it with your friends. Subscribe our channel because in upcoming videos I will be discussing more data processing in more details. So Allah Hafiz until the next video.